in with News 8 meteorologist Bill Grawl for a look at our forecast. Hello, Bill. Good morning, Alexandra. Happy Friday to all of you. Checking the high temperatures during the month of April. First of all, uh, we hit 65 yesterday, just barely above average. So that makes 14 days above average, 10 below average, and one last Sunday was right at average. Latest drought monitor was released yesterday. Again, uh, I draw your attention to the upper bar. It uh, includes data through Tuesday morning of each week, but notice how the drought conditions have been chewed away in many spots. No drought conditions from Mankato up through the Twin Cities, Eau Claire, and down towards, uh, well, close to Black River Falls, Wausau, and Green Bay, and then just abnormally dry from La Crosse and points to the north and west, and the moderate and severe drought areas to the south here have shrunk, and uh, the extreme drought conditions over northeastern Iowa uh, smaller as well. So some good news because of all of the rainfall uh, we saw over the past week, and we could see more rainfall through uh, the next several days, including this weekend and including today. Now we are starting dry, 47 at the airport and downtown with a mostly cloudy sky. Winds out of the southeast at 9 and the Mississippi falling a bit, 6.98 feet. Can't show you the currents in Eau Claire because uh, the sensor is not reporting anything right now. Uh, temperatures are milder this morning. We're at 47 in La Crosse, 48 in Winona, 42 in Black River Falls. Uh, again, I think uh, the sensor is uh, sleeping in on this Friday in Eau Claire. <laughs> You're probably in the uh, lower to middle 40s, though. 41 in Viroqua, 47 in Boscobel. Winds, uh, yeah, they will be picking up again today from the southeast. Currently already gusting over 20, even 30 miles per hour to our west. And we could see wind gusts of uh, 30 to 35 miles per hour in many spots today. So clouds have arrived. The rain has not yet. Uh, you can see it over southwestern Minnesota, about the western half of Iowa. But as this low continues to track towards the region, these uh, showers and a few thunderstorms will become likely in scattered fashion as the day progresses. And again, kind of breezy with a squeeze play from this ridge of high pressure to our east and that approaching low pressure uh, over Nebraska. So Sky Tracker shows those showers kind of weaken as they move in, but scattered showers as the the morning progresses, but we could see some pockets of dry time today, but plenty of clouds. And then those shower and thunderstorm chances increase as we head into tonight as that low spins by up near the Twin Cities. And then much of tomorrow could end up being dry. We're going to have to watch this area where there's some clearing for the chance for some storm development. And you can see sky trackers showing those storms developing farther to the south and to the east. But I will caution you that some models have it developing a little closer to the Wisconsin River. So that's something we'll have to keep an eye on as we head into our Saturday. In fact, uh, the Storm Prediction Center has a level two risk of strong storms if they do develop in these areas. Again, I think the best chances would be near and south and east of the Wisconsin River. Local timing would be late in the day and into tomorrow night with gusty winds and hail, the primary threats. Rain tracker showing not a lot of rainfall today uh, as it will be kind of scattered. But as I run this through early Monday morning, which includes Sunday, which could be very wet, uh, anywhere from one to two inches plus, still a possibility across the region. Zone forecast showing high temperatures today will be a bit cooler, mid to upper 50s for most. In fact, most of our 65 locations seeing highs between about 51 and 58 degrees. And again, you'll want to have that rain gear handy as we will see some scattered showers, breezy conditions as well. 59 for the high showers and storms likely tonight. Mild though, lows in the low to mid 50s tomorrow dry for much of the day and warmer 76 slight chance of storms late in the day, especially south and east. Rain and storms likely Sunday 66, lingering into Monday morning, a high of 63, and then warmer Tuesday and Wednesday. Slight chance of storms on Tuesday and Thursday of next week, with highs generally staying in the 60s and 70s. So, Alexandra, yeah, we've got to dodge some rain chances, but at least a good portion of our Saturday is looking dry.